Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemsical and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. Happy Paddy's Day, it is St Patrick's Day today and so I have built a St Patrick's Day themed house, kind of. Now we don't really have any St Patrick's Day stuff in Sims Free Play, so basically kind of the rules were anything green goes into this house. This is what it looks like from the town map, you can see it's got the green roof on and actually it is a kind of just a remodel of the Thanksgiving house that I put up on the channel at Thanksgiving. Here is a look at the house. It is a two floor house. Well, it is three floor, I suppose. It's got a tiny little basement, but I mean, the basement is just a uh, washroom, dining room thing. So it's nothing really, but it is, yeah, two floors. And I adore this build. Like, it's just an awesome build. I really like how it looks from the outside. I was gonna change the windows and I'm, in fact, there should be some more windows on that side, I reckon. But this is how it looks. Oh no, I left the turkey there. I didn't even know the turkey. Let's get rid of him. He was the Thanksgiving turkey. We don't want, want him there. For Paddy's Day. Let's go in and take a little look. So it's kind of supposed to be a family home. And like I say, it's just kind of a remodel of the Thanksgiving house. And the rule was, like I said, anything green goes in here. And I tried to find anything that was kind of... Paddy's Day related in the furniture or in the decorations and things you will you'll tell for yourself how successful <laughs> I was with that but when you walk in there's just an entranceway here which I really like actually and then somewhere to hang up your coats and then there is this hallway here where again you can see like there's the green rug and I used this uh, which actually we should get someone to use because I love this escalator so much. It's the rainbow escalator. And I put that in because, like, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, that's kind of like a thing with Paddy's Day. Look, how awesome is that? I just love that. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, like, if you caught a leprechaun, the story goes something about a leprechaun. And if you caught one, they would tell you, like, to try and escape, they would tell you that the pot of gold was at the end of the rainbow something like that anyway um, so yeah so this is just all kind of hallway here and then you go into the main living area which is very green as you can see green carpets green walls green furniture and they are having like a little paddy's day party so they are all dressed in green as you can see and they've got the well the adults anyway have got these uh, paddy's day hat and then you go through into the kitchen here which of course it's just green, green everywhere. I like using these one by one rugs to like change up the floor and do like a little floor pattern. So I just sort of had a little experiment with that and did that there and used the green fridge. And then you can go from the main room. This used to be, this was the dining room for Thanksgiving, but I changed it up because Paddy say it's all about going again to Guinness, right? So I took out the dining room table and stuck in a bar. Why is he not ordering a drink? That's not working. Let's cancel that. Is he stuck? Let's try again. For whatever reason, he is not ordering a drink. I don't know why. Let's see if we can get somebody else to do it. Order a cocktail. Maybe it's her that's the problem. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I put in this bar so that they could get a drink. Oh, and actually, if you see from above, let me go into build mode, actually. This it doesn't really, there's a better one upstairs, but this was supposed to be like, with these four circular rugs, it was supposed to be like a shamrock because that is obviously a symbol of Paddy's Day. You can't really tell, I suppose, but that was the idea behind it. And then this room, I wanted to be like the party room. I wanted like the dance mats, but apparently in this game I haven't got the dance mats from the you know from the party event. A long time ago when I lost my game and then the Sims Free Play very kindly gave me another game, they didn't give me the party stuff, so I haven't got the party stuff. So I just uh, added like the teen idol stuff so that they can just have a little. I don't know. It's got the feel of a party room, right? I think so. Anyway. And then just out here, there's just a little bathroom. And I used, obviously, the green sink and toilet. 
and then let's go upstairs upstairs has a little this was supposed to be <laughs> this is my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow I mean yeah I realize okay but it's a gold ornament it's there it's you get the meaning behind it and then so we've got a couple of bedrooms there's this in fact before we get to the bedrooms there is on the right hand side here why not ping pong table I didn't know what to do with this space and that was green and so I thought yes let's have a ping pong table room which to be honest isn't really big enough but hey never mind and then on the other side this is just a bedroom and I was gonna make it into like a proper bedroom with a bed and everything and I thought you know what no I'm gonna put I just found the rainbow uh, sleeping bags and I was like yes rainbow theme party's day <laughs> I'm gonna put those down so I put those down they sleep on the floor in rainbow sleeping bags which is fine oh, look she's come up to practice her ping pong can somebody join yeah someone else could join excellent and then off that room is just a green bathroom. Well, I say it's a green bathroom. It's a green floored, green tiled bathroom. And a little game station area there where they can play. And some games. Then the other rooms upstairs are the master bedroom, which of course is the green furniture. And this is the better, let me show you. That's the better shamrock, right? I feel like... It's a th it should be three for a shamrock because that like that's a four leaf clover right and I feel like like the Irish one is I don't know maybe I'm, maybe it's not but that looks like quite a good shamrock I think in that bedroom there because the bed is hiding where they like join together that looks pretty cool in my opinion um I've used one of these retro TVs because I love them I love the retro TVs and also because obviously <laughs> it is green and then off the bedroom they have a walk-in wardrobe with the green wardrobes and they also have a ensuite with the green furniture the green bathroom suite of course and they also have a like toddler's room here because a toddler lives in this house and so <laughs> they have a big playroom there with, with which is tiled with green maybe it should be carpet to be honest that would be maybe better for a kid's playroom rather than these tiles but yeah, got a kid's room there with some toys and some green chairs and all of that jazz. The balconies are, of course, green flooring with the green marble rail. And that is my Paddy's Day house. I hope you like it. I am going to quickly edit this video because I am going out to go and celebrate Paddy's Day. I'm going into Liverpool. There's a big parade in town, so we're going to go and join in the parade. And I haven't got anything green. I've just tried to look through my wardrobe to find something green to wear. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything green, so I can't wear green to the parade, but we're going to go over to the parade. Let me know in the comments if you are doing anything for Paddy's Day. Obviously, in Liverpool, there is a big Irish community, with it being like just across the water from Ireland. So, yeah, there's a huge celebrations there. Let me know, is there celebrations where you are for Paddy's Day? Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!